I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, crazy about your friends. And today again we have another person to expose. Actually we did many videos before and I just posted under his video a challenge to let me call him this coward. He will never dare to do so. But that doesn't matter. You know, we know why he don't dare to let me call him. Always ask yourself, all those who attack Christianity, why they don't dare to speak to me? I mean, as long you claim to be a rabbi, and it's very easy for you to refute us, and you are a person who people call you, let me call you too. Can I? <laughs> coward son of Muta. <laughs> so this coward, uh, actually he looked like a hamster. You know, we made a video yesterday about hamster. This is how hamster, be, you know, behave. He is a coward. If somebody is a rabbi and somebody asks you about your faith, why you are going to hide your faith? Why you don't say what you believe? Because you are a hamster. That. All right, we lost the connection for a few seconds. I hope it's working back now. Is it working? All right. Uh, you know, we have a very bad storm yesterday here. Actually, we lost the internet. Uh, so, you know, so ask yourself, if somebody is asking you, why Muslim believe that Jesus is the Messiah? Shouldn't, shouldn't you say, you know, Islam is a lie? As long as you don't believe that the Messiah is, a, is Jesus is the true Messiah. Why you don't say whoever says that is a liar? The reason you don't dare to say that, because you are not a rabbi, you are a businessman. You will never dare to offend the Abdul, which means you will never dare to give a true answer. Why? Because you are not a man. You are a coward. So the question, listen to the question and listen to the answer. Or interested in these things that really matter, they really matter to really go back to the original sources like i didn't quote a single yeah let us go to the original sources uh-huh yeah mm -hmm. let us go to the original sources when we have it potato what's really matter what's really matter what's really matter it just go to the original sources and now the question is there will never be answer and look at this second hamster sitting next to him single scholar tonight why because like, we want to know what does the original text say? Let's go back to the original. Let's, you know, read it for yourself, all right? We did, we did, we did. And now let us go to the question, Hamster. From now on, we will call you Hamster because you look like one. I, well, was, you can't see me, but I actually showed him earlier. I, oh, can I have okay. a bonus round question as we go? One, one small one. I don't want a lot of time from you. Just a simple question. Go for it. All right. <clears throat> Why do Muslims keep Jesus in their tradition? I mean... Even 
they had rabbis. They knew rabbis. They knew the rabbinic literature. At least it appears to me from the scholarship I've been digging into. They knew this. And they saw how Jews looked at Jesus as not the Messiah, but they venerated him in some degree. They seem to want to have a different kind of Jesus than what we even see in the Gospels. Can you give us just a two two minute something on this? So this really fits so neatly into what we were just discussing. So Muslims are using the term Mashiach about about Jesus, Isa. Christians are using the term Messiah about what they believe in. Jews use the term Messiah. We don't believe in Jesus. But the key is that Christians, Jews, and Muslims mean something really different. This, thank you. So that's a great question. For example, like let's go to the heart of the matter. To Muslims, first of all, Jesus was a prophet. No more. Son of Muta, it doesn't matter. The question is, look at your title. Is Jesus the Messiah or not? Do you see how coward this idiot? He is the one who wrote the title by his hand. They are not asking you if they have Jesus as a prophet or not. They are not asking you if Jesus is a different person or not. They are asking you, is Jesus the Messiah? The son of Muta will spend 10 hours talking. He will never give the answer. And now let me show you. A Muslim, he just posted an answer here. And I will, I'm going to take calls from Muslims so we can expose Islam too. We expose the hamster who called himself Rabbi and the hamster Muhammad. A person, he called himself Joseph, obviously you're a Muslim. And this is the, th the thing about Muslims, they use a Christian names. It is because they don't worship him, he does not endorse Islam. He appreciate them not to worship a man. Well, you just you just get your your prophet busted because according to the stupid Quran, the Jews they worship a man. Let us go to the yellow pages of Muhammad. The same verse says that the the, the Christian they worship Jesus. The same verse says that the Jews they worship a man. His name is Uzair. So you are a son of Muta, like the other son of Muta, and all of you, you end as a son of Muta, and today we are doing Muta. Isn't it, this is your stupid Quran? So he don't appreciate that the Jews worship, you know, the, the Muslims don't worship a man, but according to Islam, you worship a man, the Jews worship a man, and this is the Quran. How come he don't say this is a lie? Are you there, Muta boy? Is it, this is the stupid Quran, chapter 9, verse number 30, saying, the Zeus says, Uzair is a son of Allah. Look what the heck. And the Christians say, the Messiah is a son of Allah. Uh oh You are not a Muslim? So what are you? What are you? What are you? Give me, give me your religion. Give me, I'm not a Muslim. What are you? Hmm? I'm not a Muslim. So what are you? Are you a Jew? So when when the Muslim they ask question to a person he claimed to be a rabbi. Okay, Muhammad he believed that the Messiah is Jesus. Do you believe the Messiah is Jesus? He will say, no, we don't believe the Messiah is Jesus. So did Muhammad lie? Obviously he did lie then, correct? Is that correct, people? This is how a brave man, a man of faith, he answer. This coward, he will speak, if you watch the whole video, for 10 years, he will never say Muhammad lied. Isn't it the stupid Quran in chapter 3, verse number 45, it says that the angels came to Mary and they told Mary there is a boy, he is going to be born, He is his name is Isa, and his name is the Messiah. So, the question is in his stupid title, and he is the one who wrote the title, this hamster. 
Why do Muslims believe that Jesus is the Messiah? He will start telling you the Muslims they believe in different Messiah, different person, different Jesus. He's a prophet for them. It doesn't matter. It's not a question. Is he the Messiah or not? Secondly, when you say different, you potato, son of Muta. When the Quran says this is the son of Mary, when the Quran says that Mary, she was a virgin. Isn't it obvious this is the same Jesus? So when you see the Muslim believe in different Messiah, you know, he would, he's trying to avoid the answer. He is a sneaky like a snake. He is a coward as coward can be. He is son of Muta, he don't dare to say the truth. And not only that, the funny is, if you go down in his page, you will find all his supporters are Muslims. Here you see that there is something wrong. I'm going to open my sky before I talk about next in this topic here. Any Muslim would like to call and speak of the topic, please feel free. I'm opening my Skype. And get ready for what's coming. Let us open Skype. <clears throat> mayday, 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 who is a Muslim is brave to call us and tell us what he think about this rabbi. Or he called himself rabbi. My Skype is open. We take calls from Abdul. Doesn't matter how big they are or how small. So let us read the comment. This this uh, this Muslim, he is from uh, Persia. For the first time in his life, he listened to him. All right. Uh, he is happy with his king, Exeros, Asharosh, Korosh. Uh, hold on. But isn't it the Quran? Isn't it Muhammad? He curse you and curse your Caesar. Huh? What stupid people, man! He's a Muslim, and you are proud about this king. Isn't it the Prophet of Islam? He says the one who is proud about his heritage before Islam, tell him to go and bite the penis of his father. Potato. Next Muslim. I am a Muslim, and I love Rabbi. I am a Muslim, and I love Rabbi. All right. Let us see if we have any Abdul. If you text me and you don't want me to take my call, I will block you. As simple as that. So I will call you one more time. If you don't accept, you are blocked forever. Okay, take a hike. Let us block you. Let us see the second one. This Muslim saying to me, you are finished. Let us see the finished. The finished boy. No, oh, the second Muslim is his is a flat tire too. Let us see the other Muslim. All of them have flat tire. We cannot even connect with them. All of those Muslims, they have a stolen internet, obviously. Let us see. Hello? Yes, you are live on air. Hello, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. 
Okay, it is you who called. Can, can you mute uh, YouTube, please? Because I hear myself twice. No, sir. I. Okay, maybe it's open now. One second. Right. So, did you. Is it okay? uh, are you listening to us on YouTube? Are, are no. you listening to the topic? Oh, okay. No. So, I don't know why they are. Uh, there's uh, the, like an echo. Anyway, so the topic is there is a rabbi, he's a Jew, and uh, he. Uh, when they ask him why the Muslims. Why, why the Muslims believe that Jesus is the Messiah? He said that the Muslims they have different Jesus. Do you Muslims have different Jesus? My friend, I am an ex-Muslim. Oh, sorry. You know, I, I see. For me, I, I, oh, sorry. yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> I, I, I have a conversation with you last summer. So, and uh, you convinced me that Islam is uh, wrong and oh, okay. Peace of so Christ. you left Islam with us. You, you left Islam with us live on air, correct? Yeah, yeah, right. right I'm right. Uh, ex-Muslim from Russia, you know. So. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, 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 I thought uh, because I see a Muslim name in front of me, so I don't know. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my yeah. nickname, you know, my right. real name. Okay. Uh, so you you wanted me to call you for what reason then? Uh, you know, uh, it was your live stream a few days ago, so yeah. I just wanted to call you and to All right. uh, say thank you so much. You know, you're welcome. Do you know that we have our two books translated now in uh, in Russian? Yeah, uh, of course, of course. And yeah, actually, we have friends. three. We have sex and Allah too. Sex and Allah too in Russian. Yes, you yes. And, and recently, I received this book. Yes, from uh, my fellow Christians brothers. And okay, we are reading it right now. You know, All right. Ah, as a Christian prince, do you know that guy from Egypt? His name is uh, Saeed, who is an ex-Muslim, now Christian, and he has uh, uh, live streams on Arabic and preach to Muslims uh, the gospel. No, I don't know them. Uh, he is from Egypt, and now he lives in Russia, and I knew him, and he has a Russian wife, but All right. a few days ago he divorced unfortunately well this is not uh, my friend this is not my business uh, 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 what I want from you to share my books with everybody as you see we give it for free so people who they are Russian Ukrainian etc whoever speak Russian they can enjoy the knowledge for free all right so yes, I, yes, I, I demand in, in Russian people you. like you to spread the truth yes thank all you right. very much okay thank you my friend. let us take a call from Muslims thank you okay bye 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 all right mm -hmm. we thought he's a Muslim it turned to be not He's an ex-Muslim. He, you know, he decided to leave Islam life on air, but I forgot about him. You know, it, it was a, he sees it was a year ago. <laughs> Hello. Your mother is a whore. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, not guy, not this guy now. Not this guy. This is the same guy who, you know, said to us, the prophet, his God is a sun moon. Not now. We want someone else. The Muslim, he called us to tell us what he think about his mother, which he can say. You have to agree. Let us call this guy. Okay, now we have time to block you. Call declined. This guy is just trying to disturb us. Um, do we have any brave Muslim? Do we have any brave Muslim? You know, uh, uh, what we see in the front of us proving that the Rabbi and Muhammad both are fraud. Not again, this guy. What he want? Yes, Sergi, Shazi. Yes, sir. How are you? Yeah, how are you? Why are you are calling me now? Uh, because you told me uh, you you were asking me something about Christianity, and I said I'm busy right now. No, we have a topic oh. now. We are talking about a rabbi. His name is Toviva Sengar. So you don't want to talk about Christianity at all? We are talking about Christianity, but we have a topic now. We have to, you know, we we are. We chose a topic for today to talk about it. When we finish it, we can talk about that if you want. Okay, sir. I'm waiting. Then. Thank you. All right. Do we have any Mohammedan? Any Mohammedan?
Anyone? You know, one of the reasons, by the way, I hate Skype. I, I, will, I will give you, even this is out of the topic. There is some people, they have mental illness, literally. And uh, it's happened that those people who they are stalking me, they are women. You don't want to talk to them, but they don't want to, they want to talk to you. They are in love, brother. I mean, look at this mad woman. Look how many names she, she, I keep blocking her, she keep coming back. I keep blocking her, she keep coming back. She keep coming back. I mean, what a mental creature. Nightmare. She is really a nightmare. <laughs> Each one of those is different name in Skype. Because I keep blocking her. Each time she texts me, I love you, I'm crazy about you. What the heck is that? Somebody do something. <laughs> <laughs> mental illness lord have mercy <laughs> do you see why sometimes i shut the, the chat sometimes i shut that the even the comment section i mean there is some people they are more stupid than muhammad literally more stupid than muhammad i can't even find description for stupidity no more let us go back to the topic I'm a Muslim. I love Rabbi to be the talk. I love his honesty. Hey Muslims, anyone want to explain to us what's happening here? How come you, all of you became in love with the Jews? I want really to make a case study about the love of Muslim to a Rabbi and he is a Jew. But remember, this Rabbi is not a Muslim. So which means, if you don't dare to say it, still he is saying Muhammad is a false prophet. So why must them they are saying what they are saying in the chat here or in the comment section? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim who love Rabbi to weave a singer is willing to call us? I am a Muslim from Indonesia. Look, all his channel actually, nobody watch his channel except Muslims. Is that telling you the truth? This is telling you what it is, right? Hmm? <clears throat> Any Muslim want to explain to us? Any Abdul? Who is Abdul want to call us and tell us why he love? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not against you to love him. I, I Actually, I encourage us to love, you know. I hope you get married soon. But... Uh, this is not, you know, what we are seeking here. Look at this guy saying, was there a fact somebody named Jesus? Does the New Testament provide an actual, actual fact? Is Jesus a composite? I am very interested, Rabbi Singer view, subject. It is, it is no Jesus. Jesus exists. So again, confirming that Muhammad is a fraud. Because how Muhammad says then Jesus exists? They don't dare to say that Muhammad is a fraud, but they don't. But they do dare to say that Christianity is false. Potato. Hmm. Do you know there is underground channels? Some countries where people get paid little money to troll in YouTube. I do not know about that. This is a conspiracy. I cannot support. Why somebody want to do underground market to pay somebody to troll in YouTube? What does that mean? Sound fishy for me. Sound like, you know, sound like well, this is a Muhammad prophecy or something, you know, sound like the Quran for me. Yeah, because the Muhammad, uh, the Quran is the book of trolling. So any Muslim want to call us and tell us why he is in love with Toi singer? Anyone? And look, all of them, they are from Indonesia, brother. And now this guy from India. <laughs> Big respect, Rabbi, to a singer. Uh, any Muslim? And I posted a comment in his stupid video. It doesn't appear here in this page because it was before I posted the comment, I guess. It was open from before. But if we refresh the page, let us do so. 
Give me a second. All of them, they are in love with the Weaver singer, brother. All of them. No exception. No exception. No exception. Like, what happened to my comment? I just post a comment. It's not there. Look. Uh, let us see maybe by changing to sort by new. Newest first. Maybe that will make it appear. Here we go. To weave a singer is a coward. He will never dare to talk to me. He will never dare to say Muhammad lied when he said Jesus is the Christ. Why? Because he is a snake, not a man. Watch my video exposing this businessman who don't dare to say, to say, not to say, see, his faith in Islam. Is that the truth? Because if Jesus is not the Christ in Christianity, well, he is not the Christ in Islam. As simple as that. Why you don't dare to say the same thing you say to the Christians? You don't dare to say the same thing to the Muslims? Because you are a hamster, son of Muta. You are doing a business. You are doing a business. You sell jewelry. You sell jewelry in Indonesia. So you will never dare to say that. Hmm? Hmm. Uh, another uh, smart Abdul is saying, just to show you the intelligence. Uh, don't shit on the man, excuse my language, I'm just reading. You are saying if he is a man, he do have said it as is, as is. No, he did not say it as it, because if he don't believe that the Messiah is Jesus, then he have to say and he have to admit then Muhammad is a liar. So he's a coward, he will never dare say it. And then he said to me, show my face. Why you want to see my face? Are you a homosexual? You must be a homo like your prophet. Why are you are interested in my face? Are you looking for a date? What you get from his face anyway? But because you have no excuse, the person he just get your profit busted and not not only that wait it's given even getting better this man he claimed that muhammad is a big fat liar without saying it let us get you busted you and him this is the same guy he said that the story in the quran about but he did not dare to say the quran by the way because he's a hamster he said that the story in the Bible, which is in the Quran, that Mary she was a virgin, is a story stolen from the Greek mythology. Watch and laugh. Your prophet is a fraud, according to this guy. Your prophet is a son of Muta, according to this, this, this guy. Your prophet is a fabricator, according to this guy, and he is stealing from the Greek mythology. Listen. By the way, if you go and check all the stories he mentioned, none of them have to, 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 do, to be even close. Because all those stories about a man and a woman, they are having sex. The story of Jesus, he is not born of any sexual relationship. So this coward, son of Muta again, is lying. Mentioning names have nothing to do, not even close. But the point is, he is saying that the story which is in the Bible, which is in the Quran, is a theft from the Greek mythology. But do he dare to say Muhammad is a fraud? Oh, there's no sound for him, hold on. Let us fix it. I apologize for that. We will fix it, here we go. All right, now you will hear his voice. That liar when he said 
that Jesus is born of a virgin. Listen and love. Angels, like the mythical founder of Rome, Romulus was said to be born of a virgin and God. Pythagoras, the philosopher, was said to be born of a virgin. Octavius, Caesar Augustus, the adopted son of Julius Caesar, was said to have been was the son of God, and then mm -hmm. he was born. I mean, this is the like Hercules was said to have been conceived by a relationship between Zeus and his mother. So <laughs> what happened is as Christianity was leaving Jerusalem and moving toward Athens, it was adopting the ideas that had emerged from Greece rather than from Yerushalayim. Did you hear it, Muslims? So when you're a prophet, you say that Mary, she gave birth to Jesus and she was a virgin. Muhammad is a liar. Did you hear it, Muslims? Yet in the comment section, you say that this guy, we love him. Can you believe the stupidity? Can you believe the stupidity? Muslims, to weave a singer is a spitting at your prophet. He just said, and you heard him, that the story of Mary giving birth as virgin is a story stolen from the Greek mythology. Yet you stupid Abdul, you go in his channel and you support him. And you say, you, I love what you say. Why, but just because you attack Christianity. So what is between of you, between you and, the, and this, uh, this filthy man is a common ground is hating Jesus. Both of you, you hate one person, Jesus. So the hate to Jesus unite you. Even in the way he is stepping and he is farting and he is doing poo poo in the top of your prophet. It is not the problem. Because as long he is against Christianity, we say we love you. So what we notice here, that both are hypocrite, in bed together, but in the same time they are enemies. Who is a Muslim is willing to call me and tell me. Why you are in love with this man. We he just said that your God Allah is a fraud. Your God Allah, he stole the story of the Virgin Mary from the Greek mythology. Hmm? Any Muhammadan? I mean, can you believe the stupidity? And just right now, I'm talking to you. You know what I'm doing? I'm just blocking this woman who is sending me kisses. <laughs> I hate Skype. <laughs> and if I stop accepting from anyone, then Muslim cannot contact me. I mean, I am now talking about Tuiva Singer. In the same time, I'm receiving from a mad woman. She's like Aisha. I don't know what's wrong with her. Look at this. Sorry, I have to expose you because you are stupid. Look at this. What I would do with those people? You tell me. I am blocking names of this woman for the last, since I came, like open Skype, I'm just blocking names now. She have a billion name texting me. What a mental. You are qualified to be a prophet in Islam, literally, because you have all the requirement. Do we have any brave Muslim can call us and tell us why you Muslims are supporting this guy when he is saying 
that the story in the Quran is a lie? When your prophet is a liar and he's a fraud? When your God is a fraud and he himself, if, if the story in the Quran about Mary being a virgin is a story from the Greek mythology, that means Allah himself is a story from the Greek mythology. Any Muhammadan? A no, my friend, option. Because the Abdul, uh, they claim that they knew who I am. And the Abdul, they claim that they have my pictures. So it doesn't make any difference. And you are wasting my time, option select. Take care. Take a hike. The Muslim, they claim they know who I am. They claim they have my address. They claim they have my pictures. They claim, etc. At the same time, actually, it's not hard to find who I am. What a big deal. I have my books for sale in Amazon. I go and do seminars in person. I made seminars in every country you can imagine. So when the Muslim they say, show us your face, this is an excuse not to debate me, as simple as that. Otherwise, who care about showing my face or not? You are debating what are my answers, not my face. And not to forget to mention that Allah himself, he don't show his face. I am Allah, worship me, what you can do about it? Isn't it Allah, he says, at least I don't wear hijab, your God Allah is a female. Allah, he says, he wear hijab. Am I lying? So look at those idiots. They try to change the topic to be something else. Who care about my face? I'm not, I'm, am I a prophet? You want to worship me? I am Allah. I'm a person exposing your lies. It's not given to any human being that Allah should speak to him unless by inspiration or from behind a veil. I am not wearing a veil. Your God, Allah, is a female. He's wearing a burqa. The word there is a translation for the word burqa. So your God is a female wearing burqa. Why you don't ask your Allah to show his face? So they cannot debate me. They have to run away from debating me to talk about something else. Show us your face. Right? Even Mimi Hijab, his last name is Hijab, which means, you know, in the Middle East, they call you by a name, your last name present to the, uh, either an honor or insult. When a, when a man is called his last name Hijab, simply it's an insult. Imagine your last name is Burqa. So obviously he's coming from a coward family, maybe. Maybe. Now, we don't care really about uh, private to weave a singer. Let us debate. Uh, another troll. Who is a Muslim would like to call me and tell me what is the secret between the love of Muhammadan to a person who he just said that Muhammad is a liar without saying it by the way he don't dare to say it the story of Mary is a mythology and Islam is a fraud and yet you Muslims you sponsor him I want to know the secret is it true that because of you you hate Jesus is that really the reason Anyone? Ali Dawa, he sent FaceTime debate with the Christian Prince. What FaceTime is? What is that? There's something called FaceTime and Ace Time. Anyway, go. I am in Skype. Anyone who dare to call me, let him call me. I don't they are covered. They will never, never dare to do so. Get out of here. Fake.
admin anyone who used the name of somebody just to block him right away. Like sometimes I see somebody using those Abdul's from YouTube names coming here to make fun of them. Even if they are Christians, block them. We don't do what Muslims do. Any Mohammedan? Any Mohammedan dare to make a comment about to weave a singer saying that the story of Mary is a fabrication and Mary she was not a virgin? And by the way, this guy he made a video and I made I made him shish kebab too. He said, uh, Mary, it says in Isaiah uh, that uh, Mary she is going to be a virgin. It doesn't say that in Hebrew. It says she will be young. Like, hold on, you stupid donkey. So the sign is that a young woman she will give a birth. Well, all young women they do that. So what is the sign? Sign it's a miracle. Sign it is something doesn't happen. Something will happen once in, in the lifetime of humanity. So if a young woman she give birth, that is not a sign. Every day there's young women giving signs. This is how weak those who claim to be Jews. They are fake. They are not a true Jews. <clears throat> you know, when the, when the Bible speak about the synagogue of the devil, the synagogue of Satan, he was speaking about specifically about such a people like this, this guy. If you go to the book of Malachi, you will see in, in chapter one, it says it clearly that the Lord, he said, I have loved you. Okay, talking to who? He's talking to the children of Israel, right? But in the same time, you will see how, you know, the, the Bible says, says the Lord, I have loved you. But you say, how have you loved us? Isn't not Esau, Jacob, a brother? declare the Lord yet I have loved Jacob but Esau I have hated so what the verse is here and this is what Paul he quoted later speaking about the false rabbis so God he loved Israel God he loved the children of Israel but not everyone from the nation of Israel is being really loved isn't it Esau? Is Jacob a brother? And remember, this is from the Old Testament. So the Old Testament presents to us that there's a false people who they claim to be people of the Lord, but they are hypocrite, false. They are willing even to take a side with the one who killed the Jews. Every single Jew in the Arabian Peninsula was slaughtered by Muhammad. And yet, this false rabbi, he takes side with the one who raped the Jewish women, who killed the Jewish people and he did a cleansing to the Christian and the Jews. Muhammad in his filthy hadith, not only he teach hatred against the Christians, but he have a special hatred to the Jews. Way more than the Christians. To the point he said, prophesying that the hour will not come until the Muslims will attack the Jews. And if one of the Jews was able to escape, he thought he ran away from being killed and he hide behind a tree or a rock. The tree and the rock, they will say, there is a Jew behind me, kill him. This is the filthy Muhammad. In the same time, this rabbi, who he claimed to be a rabbi, he don't like Jesus. He don't like Jesus. Jesus is bad for him. But Jesus is the one who says, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. Do you see how much Jesus he loved the Jewish people? They just put him in the cross. They just put nails in his hands. They just put nails in his feet. They are... He is crucified literally. And even though he said, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. 
So you tell me how in the world somebody he taught us to love the Jews, they hate more than someone he killed the Jews. How this coward and why this coward don't dare to say that Muhammad is the biggest threat to our existence to be alive, not only to religion. As you see, this filthy Muhammad is teaching genocide against the Jews. He don't want to kill one. He want to kill every single one. Women, children, doesn't matter. If we go back to the comment section, and we see that the Muslim says, that we appreciate you and I'm a Muslim. Like here, there's an honest person saying extremely misleading view. Islam is not Abrahamic faith. Good for you, my friend, Mr. Nathan. Look, he's an African brother. He is saying the truth. Islam is not Abrahamic, that is true. Today, we have a wave of people trying to sponsor the idea that Islam is Abrahamic. Even Trump himself, he signed an agreement between Emirates, Bahrain, Israel, called the Abrahamic Peace. And here you see how politics is deception. Now Islam is Abrahamic, just because they want to get the benefit of politics. <laughs> you see? The Abrahamic agreement this is what they call it so you have three liars trump the muslim leaders the jewish leaders they are lying to each other oh we are abrahamic just in order to make a protex achievement but all of us we knew that this is a lie i am a muslim i love rabbi to be a talk i love his honesty but look what happened here. When the Muslim they say, I love his honesty, that means Muhammad is a fraud. Why? Because he said that you will find between those, the, the most people who hate Muslims, according to Muhammad, is those who call themselves Jews. Muhammad was wrong, look like it. Muhammad was wrong. Muhammad actually was a liar because as you see there's love between the Jews and the Muslims these days it's not working with Muhammad so when Muhammad he said especially by the way Muhammad for sure he considered the rabbi is the biggest enemy this guy's a rabbi right okay uh, chapter 5 verse number 64 Read with me carefully. The Jews says, Allah hands is tied up. I.e. he does not give and spend from his bounty. So the Jews are making fun of Allah. And this is a proof that this guy, Taweeva Sangar, is a liar. Because if the Jews are worshipping the same God, why they are saying Allah, his hand is tied up? Do you see it, people? Do you see the clear proof that the Jews and Muslims are not Abrahamic? Or they don't belong to the same person? Because the Jews are Abrahamic for sure. There's no question about that. So if the Jews are Abrahamic, and the Jews are making fun of Allah in the time of Muhammad, so how they are Abrahamic? People, are you listening? So if somebody in the future, he says to you, oh, we are Abrahamic. Say to him, say to them then, so how come chapter 5 verse number 64 says that the Jews are making fun of Allah? Does it say in the front of us, it says the Jews say Allah hands is tied up, they are making fun of this Allah, right? So if the Jews, they worship Allah, then they will never even dare to mention the word Allah. It's like saying, Elohim is hand is tied up. They don't, they, they will never dare to say that. 
It's like saying Jehovah or Yahweh or whatever word you can use or Adonai or Hashem. They were never there to say that. Because those words they used to call their God. But they are calling the God of Muhammad. Making fun of him that he is disabled God. He can do nothing. So people, did we take a note? People, did we take a note? If you want to prove to the Muslims that the Jews, they never believe in the God of Muhammad. Which chapter we use? Chapter 5, verse number 64. I want to see people typing it in the chat to be sure that your people remember it. When you want to prove to the Muhammadan that Islam have nothing to do with Judaism and they are not Abrahamic, you will use what? Chapter 5, verse number 64. What is exactly in this verse? The Jews are making fun of Allah. If they have the same God, they will never dare to do so. See, they are not making fun of Muhammad. They are making fun of the God of Muhammad. And then the respond of Allah saying, Allah will, is cursing them. Allah is cursing them. And not only that, it says Allah will put enmity in their heart until the day of resurrection. And they are the people who make war. And each time they put a war, Allah will extinguish that the fire of that war. Why? Because they are people of mischievement. And here, by the way, the translator, he exposed Islam. Because do you see the word Makkar? Makkar. You see Makkar or Makkars? The Muslim translation, now because they are using it for the Jews, they did not hesitate to say the one who do mischievement. But Allah is Makkar. <laughs> so what the Quran saying according to the filthy Muhammad that the Jews are evil people and he will make them even more evil and he will put enmity in their heart forever do you see it so how come suddenly the Muslims they are in love with the weaver singer Look like again Muhammad was wrong. The Quran saying that the Jews they do mischievement, but to weave a singer is not. He's a good boy. Look how many Muslims sharing their love and their harmony to to weave a singer, brother. Huh? Look, look the Muslims they are saying to him, "We love you." Uh, do you love me, baby, baby? Huh? I'm a Muslim. I love Rabbi to weave a singer. Mrs. G uh, G uh, Gomez saying, do you see the love? <laughs> so again, the text in the comment proving that Muhammad is a fraud. Because if this guy really is not evil, and if Allah he promised that he put in the heart of the Jews evil until the day of judgment and hatred. Then we find that there is a guy whose name is Tuweeva Singer. He's like a Santa Claus for the Muslims. They are in love together. Why? Just because he insulted Jesus. And here you see that Islam is an antichrist religion. Because what they share together? They share one thing. Both are antichrist. And when I say both, I'm not speaking about the Jews. Remember, we Christian believe, remember that Paul, our great brother and church father, he was a Jew. And by the way, this coward in the video, he says, the, the Muslim, they hate Paul. So now we share something. We hate Paul. They hate Paul. Abdul, son of Muta. Muhammad never said something wrong about Paul. Do you know that? And not only that, the Quran is claim that Paul was one of the three messengers sent by Allah to the city of Antioch. 
So again, your knowledge about Islam is zero and you are a potato. You are a certified potato coward. If we go in the Quran, we will find the verse, which is a very unique verse, by the way. Chapter 36, verse number 14. Speaking about three messengers were sent, the first two, they were not enough. And they were sent to the city of Antioch. People, do you see it? Which city? Now, who is the one who went to Antioch? The disciples of Jesus, right? Correct? Hey, Muslims, even your stupid Quran support that Jesus is God. Why? Because those are three messengers of Jesus. So how they are, how Jesus is a messenger, but he can send messengers, isn't it? Messengers can be sent only by God. Do you see it? Three messengers were sent to Antioch. Who are they? We can go right now to Ibn Kathir, to Athalabi, to many interpretation, and you will see that those three are, one of them is Paul, the second is Peter, the third is John. What you will do now? To weave a singer is in trouble. We have Abdul. Let us see if it's true Abdul or just a, a troll. Yes, you are live on air. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Are you a Muslim? Oh, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Is that a greeting of Muslims or a greeting of Christians? Hello? You know... Are you there? Yes. Can you hear me? You, you said to me, assalamu alaikum. Is that an Islamic greeting or this is a Christian greeting? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? I hear you. Do you know I'm asking you? I'm saying you said to oh, me yes. I'm saying you said yeah. to me assalamu alaikum. Is that an Islamic greeting? I think you have a bad internet. Oh, you hear me now? Maybe if you exit any other program, you have it on. His name is a proud Muslim too. Let us see how proud he is. We'll call him again. You will lower the sound until he answer. All right, do you hear me now? Hello, can you hear yes. me? Yes, yes, sound good. Okay, okay. So you said to me, Assalamu alaikum. I was saying, is that an Islamic greeting or this is a Christian greeting? What's wrong with this uh, connection? I can talk to you, my friend. Sorry, I have to hang up. I mean, get get, a, get better internet and text me. We cannot do it this way. You see, even Assalamu alaikum is a theft. When Muhammad he saw an angel first time. When Muhammad he saw an angel first time, according to Muhammad. 
he is saying he was downloading something uh, okay so are you done downloading now <clears throat> Okay, let's call him again. Give it a try. We'll mute the sound so you don't hear the noise of the ringing, which is annoying. Let us hope he will answer. Yeah, Muslim countries are very, very act active in downloading illegal software for free. Everything there is for free. He is not answering. Well, I have to end again. Okay. So when Muhammad he. First time met an angel. Anyone ask himself why this angel never said to Muhammad Assalamu Alaikum? Never. When the angels came to Mary, they said to her, Shalom to you, Mary. Blessed you are between the women. So the first word they said to her is Shalom. Salamu alaikum. This is, by the way, it's exactly how it is. So even that one is a theft. Muhammad, he stole. Later, he took it from the Jews. This is when Muhammad was not living with the Jews. He didn't know about it. When Muhammad started living with, with the Jews, he copied Assalamu alaikum from the Jews. Hello. Yes, you hear me now? Uh, shalom Aleikum. Shalom Aleikum. Shalom Aleikum. That's good. Okay. So why your prophet did not say, so why your prophet never say, the angel when he came to him, never say to him, Shalom to you, Muhammad. There we go. Okay. Well, you know what? I have, I have to block you because I'm not going to waste my time with somebody. His internet not working. Uh, my friend, only Muslims can call me. If you are a Muslim, you cannot. Don't try. Any Muhammadan? Everything Muhammad he have is a theft from the Jews and from the Christians and from the Hindus. If you remember, we showed you before a video of Zach and Naik saying in the concept of God, he said that the concept of God in Hinduism and the concept of God in Islam is exactly the same. Is what? Is exactly the same. Why people don't listen? I just said only Muslims can call me. Let me block you. This one he keep trying to call. Very weird people. I say only Muslims can call. They, they want insist they want to call. Okay, here we go. You are blocked. Have fun. The concept of God. Let's put the video for you. Out there. This is a video made by Zachary Naik. Even the Photoshop of the thumb made by Zachary Naik. And this is the channel of Zachary Naik. The concept of God in Islam is exactly the same concept of God in Hinduism. Literally. It's not me who said that. It is Zakura. Zakura, go. 
regarding the concept of God in Islam is quote to you Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allahu ahad. Say, He is Allah one and only. You see, the word Ahad in Arabic means one of. The word Ahad have different meaning too, because it's a name of an idol around the Kaaba. And there is a word close to it in the Hebrew. Say that a God is a God. Your God is a God. Oh Israel, your God is one. So, either Muhammad is trying to steal from the Jews, or Muhammad made a mistake because the one in, in the Hebrew, Echad does not mean one as a person. Echad means unity. That's why the same word used when it says that the man, he leave his family and he become Echad with his wife. So if the word Echad is one as a person, as number, then the word is used wrongly when it's speaking about marriage. Echad is a merge, is unity. So, here Muhammad, copying from who? Let us find out. Allah Hussamad. Allah, the absolute and eternal. No, a Samad is not eternal. You see, he did not even translate the word Samad. Samad is coming from the word Masmud. Masmud is uh, 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 in, around the Kaaba. There was an idol. His name is Samud. He have a hole in his belly. People, they put donation inside it. This is Samad. And this is where the word Masmuda came in from. You make a little container from clay, you make a hole in it, and you put your coins in it to save it. This way, you will not be tempted to take the money and spend it because you have to break the whole thing. This is called Masmuda. So Allah is a Samad, he is a name of an idol. And actually this is even exists in Ibn Kathir. Allah, he is, a Samud and Samud, Abu Kathir, he says, Samud was one of the idols around the Kaaba. And we showed those reference before. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Allah did not give birth, he is, he is not bo born. But this is what idols is. They never give birth. <laughs> he begets not, nor is begotten. <laughs> There's nothing like him. And this is again a story from the Bible. Nothing is equal to God. But what does that have to do with the proving is your God? Continue. This is a four-line definition of Almighty God given in the glorious Quran. Any person says so and so candidate is God. If that candidate fits in this four-line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate as God. And this is exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. The same four points. The first. Guys, did you hear exactly? Did, did you hear saying that this is exactly what is mentioned in the Hindu scriptures? Anyone you notice similarity between Islam and this rabbi, both of them, they are hypocrite. Suddenly, suddenly, just because you want to win the Hindus to Islam, suddenly the Muslims and the Hindu, they have the same scriptures. Suddenly. Suddenly, both of them, they have the same concept of God. Suddenly, the Hindus are not pagan. This is exactly what the hamster to weave a singer does. They are in harmony with Islam. So you see, they share the bed together because this hamster, Zakir Naik, is a hypocrite. Every single Muslim he knew that this is garbage. We don't agree with you. But not a single Muslim will make a video to expose him. Why? Because he's trying to win the Hindus. And Muslims are allowed to lie to win. people to their cult. You see why I'm saying this? They are allowed to lie in order to win. It's not rejected. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. All right, I don't know. This person is saying to me, I'm not going to show it. I, I don't think he's using a real name anyway, but I'm going to show what he is saying. He just sent me this message now. 
Hi CP, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I converted to Islam three years ago, but I left last year because your video reopened my heart to the truth. And then, you know, you are the best and defeated apologist, okay, scholar, okay, okay. Well, I'm so happy for you, my friend. So he left, you know, he converted to Islam three years ago, so which means he was not born from a Muslim family. And, uh, you know, we are happy for you that you decide to leave Islam. And this is a message I just received now, you know. Twelve sixteen, and it's still texting me actually, you know. Yeah. So I'm so happy for you, my friend, that you decide to leave the cult of Muhammad and his garbage. But now I'm sorry for you because you will not get the endless penis. I mean, I don't know how sad you feel right now, but don't you feel bad because Allah He promised you endless penis and now your penis will not be in this. Isn't this is the dream of every man to have an endless penis? This way, you do not need to go anywhere. You can get your grocery by using your penis. Simply, you can hang a basket on it. Like now, if I have an endless penis, why I want to go to Walmart? I just put the basket at the end of it. Let it go in the street. Install a camera so I can see direction in front. And then I direct it to Walmart. And then I, I will attach a credit card with it. You know? And then I go to Walmart. I fill up the basket, you know, like... Somebody will assess your penis there, don't worry. You know, I mean, come on, because that will be a business for them because everybody will use a business then. I mean, I mean, his business, his, his penis, penis, penis. So, my friend, you left Islam and now you don't have a, you will not have an endless penis. I'm really, really sorry for you. Don't you want to have a woman with big boobs? Booby, booby. Don't you want to enter the booby land? The booby land where the booby god is there and enjoy the big nipples? Once I was debating a Muslim sheikh, and I said to him, how in the world your prophet, he promised us that our women in heaven, they will be having one mile ass. He said to me, what's wrong with that? I said, well, I find it wrong. He said, why? He thought I'm going to say it is too big, you know? Uh, so he was shocked. He said, he said uh, don't men really like big women ass? I said, yeah, but this is not big, my friend. If my... If I will be 96 or 90 mile tall, and then her ass is one mile, I mean, this is so small. He was shocked how stupid his God is. I mean, he will be 96 mile tall, and your, your wife, her ass is just one mile. Like, what the heck? The ratio is 1 to 96. And the wife, she will be 30 miles tall. So you are three times bigger than the wife, taller than the wife. So when you are standing, your wife, she will not be even standing next to your waist. Do we have any brave Muslim who would like to call us to make comment about the topic? What do you mean no sense? This is make a lot of sense. Okay, hold on. You see, the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Muslim, they don't dare even dare to say his name without saying Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Once I call the TV station, I keep saying to them, Salli ala Rasul. Allahumma Salli wa Sallam. I say, uh, you know, pray more in the Prophet. They say, oh, stop, 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 stop. Four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, and they don't dare to say, for God's sake, what is your question? Why you are calling us? The coward, they don't dare to say, what's wrong with you, man? Stop repeating the same thing. I keep saying to them, pray on the Prophet. And they repeat. They don't dare to say stop. Because if they say, stop praying on the Prophet, the, the TV will be shut. They will burn it for them. They don't dare and everybody you know i was trying to hold the people around me not to die laughing because the, the, the sound start coming so i moved to a different room you know so salli ala rasul allahumma salli wa sallim eid as ala rasul zid as ala rasul allahumma salli wa sallim they don't dare 
to say stop. But look at this. Muhammad is the first prophet. who established Playboy magazine ever. The idea of porn magazine was not created by a perverted man in USA. It was created by Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. As you see, all those hadith, إن في الجنة لسوق ما فيها شراء ولا بيع إلا الصور من الرجال والنساء فإذا اشتهى الرجل صورة دخل فيها Translation Indeed Indeed in paradise there is a market in which no buying nor selling except for images of a man and a woman so whenever a man he desire an image, he enter it, an effort. So our friend here who sent me a message in Skype saying he left Islam, my friend, you will miss it. I mean, come on. If you want to learn Arabic, I have a, I have a, a, cha a channel in YouTube. It's called Arab for Christ. It's for free. Go and learn Arabic for free. Just to practice everything we say there, I have a class number one, two, three, etc. Practice it and you will learn Arabic. In less than two weeks, three weeks maximum, you will learn how to write, how to read. Granted. Do we have any Muhammadan? I remember, by the way, here this hadith is teaching homosexuality too. Because the images is images of men and women. It's not images of women alone. So what is in the magazine? The magazine has or contain images of men and women. Okay. So images, let us make a line. Of who? Of men and women. Okay. Who is the customer? A man. Do you see it? So, the man, if he desire any of those images, which is images of what? Images of men and women. Images of men and women. So, if this man, a Muhammadan, he desire an image of a man, he jump in it and they if each other. Uh, somebody saying try always to mention the hadith number before reading the hadith my friend I will I will teach you a very easy way to find the hadith because those numbers by the way they don't match depend in the in the translation books those are actually not real numbers always if you want to find the hadith you open the same website you type few three words like indeed in paradise there is a market type it you will find the hadith very easy indeed in paradise, there's a market. If you can remember more of it, well, you can put it just so. If I take now this line and I copy it and I search in the search engine, right away I will find the, the hadith. So even if I did not mention the number, just type exactly what you saw on the screen, especially we are showing it to you in English. You will find exactly the same hadith. Right? Now, do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? Until now, we have zero Muhammadan. Anyone? Mayday, mayday, mayday. Christian Prince, challenging your God, challenging your prophet, challenging your books, 
challenging your religion, challenging the Jews, challenging the, 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 the everybody. Who dare? Who dare? Do this guy to weave a singer there to let me call him and have a conversation for a few minutes? Do you think, guys, this guy he there? Here we go. I even posted a comment for him, but he never responded. Actually, I sent him an email and I made a video about it. He never responded. I made an email live and sent it to this coward. This is a long time ago. He never heard of my email. He played dead. Remember, those people don't present the Jews. The majority of the Jews already are Christians and they are called Messianic Jews. Actually, here this person saying, there are Jews who believe in the Messiah, Jesus. They are called the Messianic Jews, absolutely. And those are the majority, by the way. The reason until now Israel or the Jews who left, you know, they are not even 20 million, because the majority, they become Christians. Otherwise, there is no way a nation, after a thousand of years, they will stay just a few millions. Right? So remember one thing, Jesus, Jesus, he come to us by the disciple. The disciple is the one who taught us about the Messiah. They are the one who taught us what happened with the Messiah, what he said. And all the disciples, they were Jews. So never, never in your heart, hate somebody because he's a Jew. Hate evil. If a person is evil, Hate him for his evil, not him as a person. But evil, all people do evil. Even people claim to be Christian, they do evil. So hate the evil they do, when they do evil. And this person obviously is a fraud. He don't even dare to say his belief. If you are a person trying to preach that Jesus is not the Messiah, well, then you should say that Jesus in Islam is not the Messiah, but he will never dare to do say so because he is doing business. You know what I mean? When a Muslim, he asked me a question, like a Muslim asked me, what do you think about the crusade? Maybe with different one, we say, oh, the crusade was bad. No, the crusade was so good. Why, why it was bad? You see, we don't compromise. A true believer, he say what he believe. He is not waiting for the approval of an idiot to bless him. I say the truth I believe. I fear no one. So when they ask me, what do you think about the crusade? I said the crusade, the best thing ever happened. Because if not the crusade, the Muslims now is conquering all of Europe and by that doing that, America will be a Muslim, Australia will be a Muslim, and the whole world will be a Muslim. It was the crusade who gave us the freedom today. It was the crusade who gave their life. They tell you stories about the crimes they did. They were responding to the biggest crime. The Muslims is the one who attacked us, took our women, took our wives took our children, took our money, took our land, took our churches. And until now, they are taking our churches. Just last year, the filthy Erdogan, he convert one of the biggest churches in the world into a mosque. And five major churches in Turkey too, beside that church, by the way, but because this is the only famous one, people, they knew about it. Five other major huge churches, they made the mosque too. And the same day. The crusade never happened for 600 years. The crusade happened after the Muslims attack us. And if I was exist at that time, I would be the first one to join the crusade. The crusade people are our honorable brothers. They are the best of us. And history 
try to make them look bad as if they are the invader when the fact they are the one who was defending this is a land the muslim never exist in even the muslims agree that the first time a person spoke arabic in the middle east in the area between syria and jordan and israel and all the way to tabuk all the way to uh, to the, to iraq then nobody speak iraq all of it nobody speak arabic they speak aramaic this is why in history there's something called ta'rib al-dawawin what does that mean even when the muslim they occupy because they are ignorant as as ibn khaldun he said Ibn Khaldun, he said, and he's a Muslim, he says, the Arab, they were savage. They are willing to burn a library in order to cook a dish. Go and read the introduction of Ibn Khaldun. The Caliphate Abdul Malik Ibn Marwan is the first one who started changing the language of those countries from Aramaic into Arabic, including Iraq, including Syria, including Jerusalem, including Egypt. This is a history written by Muslims. And now you see somebody from Hamas saying to you that this is our land. When in fact, everybody knows that the first time they enter it, when the fifth year Omar al-Khattab, he attacked Jerusalem. And God is good. We have it back. And we will never give it back. But because, you know, in schools, they teach you that the crusades were bad. So, you know, they poison the brain of kids. They try to poison your kids about the crusade. You tell me what the bad about the crusade. Who is the one who invade who? Who is the one who attack who? How the one who is defending is the bad and the one who attack is the good? Huh? Have you ever heard of such a hypocrisy? So the one who attack us is the good guy? And the one who defend is the bad guy? And this is where we see some stupid who claim to be Christian, they say to you, the Catholic is the one who established Islam. My friend, I'm not a Catholic, but if not the Catholic, you will be Abdul by now. So if I am you, I should thank God for the Catholic every single day. I say that to the dummies, you know, I'm not a Catholic, remember that. But those who lie and say the Catholic who made Islam. So who was the, the, the crusader then, you idiot? Isn't it amazing how stupidity is working? Isn't it? I saw even a guy, uh, he is from a church called the Seven Adventist. He is saying that Khadija, she was a Catholic nun. Can you believe it? The woman, she have three husbands. She was a Catholic nun. <laughs> this is why I say those priests from any church who divide us as a Christians they are the enemy of Jesus not only this rabbi is an enemy of Jesus you have a priest inside your church who divide us we Christians we are powerful when we are united Catholic Protestant Orthodox one church the Satan my friend he understand very well divide and conquer you do not need to be a genius. Divide and conquer. When we divide them, we can conquer them. 
if they are united they are three billion human beings how in the world we can conquer them a true Christian is the one who don't let Satan divide so he can conquer and not only that the Quran says to you that Allah he have a plan to divide and conquer do you know that Quran is giving you a clear message that Allah is Satan and he want to conquer you by dividing you by spreading hatred between you if you go to chapter 5 verse number 14 it says it clearly that Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of resurrection we planted among them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection so when somebody he is a priest and he divide the Christians he is serving the devil Allah are we clear when somebody he claimed to be a priest or even a normal person he claimed to be Christian and he start attacking Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox he is no Christian he is serving Satan Allah This is the truth. So if there was a Pope, he was dividing the church, he is serving Satan. If there's a Christian uh, Protestant priest dividing the church, he is serving Satan. If there's an Orthodox Bishop dividing the church, he is serving Satan. Don't take a side. Be against the one who divide. For Satan in front of you saying to you, our plan hatred between you Christians so you will never be strong this is why Muslims they hate my channel because here they can't play games they can't play the game the Catholic did the Protestant did the Orthodox did we here don't allow it because simply we are united and we are family it's not you who decide who is a Christian it is the Lord the Lord he says whoever believe in me and I will live believe in him as what as a son of God even if they have some wrong beliefs still they are Christians let's say you might not agree with them about having pictures or statues but still they believe in Jesus that he is their God they knew that statues is a statues they knew that the picture is a picture they don't believe that the picture is God when somebody says to you the Catholic they pray for dead people that's a lie my friend the Catholic the same as the Protestant the same as the Orthodox believe that when Jesus resurrected thousands and thousands of saints resurrected with him so saints according to the Bible were resurrected so how you claim they are dead when somebody says that they are inside the rosary what well, the rosary is in the Bible you idiot this is what the Catholic repeat. It's what the angel they say to Mary. Shalom to you, Mary. Blessed you are between the women. So then maybe the angels were Catholic too. So fight your ignorance. Don't be a fool and don't be stupid. I don't agree with the Catholic with many things, but still no, they are my brother in Christ. And we you know, appreciate a lot of things they did. As we said, if not them, all of mankind will be now subdued, bowing down to the devil Allah. Do we have any Muhammadan? Is Shalat? I don't know what Shalat mean. What Shalat mean? I don't know what that word is. Okay. Let us see this person here. Hello. 
Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Hello. Christian Prince, are you there? Yes, I hear you. Oh, are you there, Christian Prince? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. What oh, do you want to say okay, to us? Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. I was connecting my place to that. Well, uh, I'm an American Muslim, and I recently converted to Islam, and I've been watching your videos on YouTube, and, well, at first, I got angry with you over some of the things you were saying. I've been looking into some of the things, and I think I've made a bad decision. And now I feel like I need to come out of it. But if I do that, I'm not going to tell anybody about it, because I've recently learned about the apostasy laws. And I just think that uh, I'm going to get some serious backlash, so I guess I'd be better off. No, my friend, don't worry. You live, you live in USA, they will not even dare to touch you. Those cowards, they will not. They will dare to touch you only if you live in their countries. No. Yeah, way. I well, well, they, when I converted, I was told this beautiful story about how Islam is the only monotheistic religion left, and you know how Muhammad is the seal of the prophets, and Islam only engages in war, it's defensive war, and, and they were very nice, and they were very kind when speaking to me, and they also said they believed in Jesus, and they believed that Jesus will come back, and I did some investigation into the Islamic belief, and how Jesus will come back, and what I found shocked me, because according to the Islamic belief, if I'm understanding, is that when Jesus comes back, He's going to kill the pig, which means Jews, and break the cross, destroy Christianity. And so, while it's true that they believe in Jesus, they believe in a very different Jesus than the one I was raised with. The, the Jesus in Islam is hostile towards uh, traditional Christians and, and Jews, and, and that's one of the many reasons. You know, I'm, I was angry at you at first, but I'm actually glad that you do what you do because there's so many things that that so many Muslims don't know about their own faith, and you know, myself included. Uh, so I just thought I, you know, would give you a call. Did you did you ever call me before? You. Did you ever call me before? No. 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 Because there's some silly yeah. people they say, and you called me before, but you did not. Yeah. People they are silly. Yeah. Uh, so my friend, so did you decide today to leave Islam? Yes. I mean yes, to that. And what about what about becoming Christian again? Do you accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior? Yes, I do. I mean to and, that, and we are happy for you. And I feel terrible for I do. There's a lot of really good Muslims out there who uh, I don't think that they either don't know about. The core things that Islam teaches. Uh, you know, another thing that Islam teaches is that women don't have the same rights as, as men do. I mean, yes, they have rights, but I'll give you an example. The Quran teaches that a woman is required to submit to the sexual needs of her husband, and if she doesn't, Allah and His angels will curse her all throughout the night exactly. when she's asleep. And um, a man is, is able to unilaterally divorce his wife, uh, no questions asked. A woman can't do that in Islam. Uh, a man can have up to four wives, although Muhammad could have more, which... Uh, yeah, a privilege. I was, Sexual yeah, privilege yeah. To, the, to the cult leader. Right, exactly. And not only that, Muhammad had sex slaves. He sold sex slaves. He, uh, so I've been doing a lot of investigating into, uh, in, into the faith after I converted. And, and you know, I, I should have done more before I, uh, before I took the Shahada. But yeah. For, for how long have you been a Muslim? Not very long. About three months. Not very long. A few months? Uh, yeah, a few months. Okay. I, I was curious. I went to a mosque. I met some very nice people there. They were very open, very welcoming. I was actually 
kind of surprised on how open and welcoming. They well, they are be. nice because they wanna they wanna win you. You know, this is the this is the game. You know, what what do you, what do you think they will be rude to you? I mean, they're trying to win you to join us, right? So it's a trap. And have you, have you ever heard of a scam? Is not nice when they call you like, like a scam. You know what scam is? Right. And well, and I've been asking uh, some of my friends who I attended the mosque with some of these questions and they don't like to hear them. They don't like to hear them. They don't like answering them. You know, or they say things like, uh, well, it's, you're taking it out of context. You're misinterpreting it. And, and that it, it's almost as if Islam is never wrong, ever. The Christians are always wrong and Islam is always right. Islam has never killed a person. It's never done anything. Uh, that would reflect negatively on the faith. And I was also looking into ISIS and other mm -hmm. terrorist organizations that have done, you know, beheadings, and, uh, rapes, sex slavery, and all of these things. And I thought, you know, before I converted to Islam, I thought, well, you know, that's that's not real Islam. I thought, you know, most Muslims don't do that, so that's that's got to be a perversion of the faith. And, and what I found was Muhammad, during his lifetime, beheaded uh, several thousand people during his political campaign after he went from Mecca to Medina. He then became a politician and a jihadist, so he switched from religion. He turned to politics, and his favorite method of execution was beheading. That was his favorite his favorite way to and actually he actually no actually his favorite was a crucifixion and putting nails in the eyes and cutting hands and feet. Oh yeah. Wow, what this, a good trade off. Yeah, this is a, this is a, this is his favorite, you know? And this is actually in the Quran. So uh and Muhammad he practiced that, he put nails uh, he heated nails and he put them in the eyes of those people who oppose him. As we can yeah, find in the yeah. And with his wife, I also found out that with his wife Aisha, part of part of how he got Aisha to marry him was he and Aisha tricked Aisha's no, uncle. No, not, not Aisha, Khadija. Khadija. Uh, okay. Right. Khadija. It, it, well, they tricked they, they tricked him into getting Muhammad to marry. Him. Right. They, they tricked him while he was asleep, and they the, put the, ceremonial the ma marriage yeah. robes on. Him. Yeah, they made the father drunk. They made the father drunk, and they changed his clothing. And then when he woke up, they told him, "You married me to this guy." But he said, "No, I did not." You know, so it was a fraud. Right. Yeah, and, and this is telling you the quality of the wife and the husband. You know. And well, and so you know, at first when I was watching your your videos, I thought that you had a you know, I thought this guy's just got a real beef against Islam. And, you know, I, I thought a lot of the things you were saying were were nonsense. But at the same time, I couldn't put down your, your your YouTube channel. I just kept listening, and so I did some investigations and so much so much stuff I found out since then. Uh, so, so for Muhammad how long you are listening? For how long you are listening to my channel? A few months, two months. Okay. I, I listened to it 30 days after I converted to Islam. And you were doing a video about uh, oh, what was it? You were you were debating a Muslim. I think his name is uh, Ibn Farouk. Was his Ibn name Farouk. Ibn Farouk? Okay. Ibn Farouk. Well, you were debating him, and I think he was using a fake name. Okay. And when you were debating him, you guys were talking about uh, when Adam sinned in the garden, and, and uh, you were discussing whether or not angels had the ability to lie Correct. Uh, yeah you were saying uh, tell me these things if you are true I can't remember exactly yeah tell me the names of those things if you are truthful right and and so I really like even Farouk and I still do I mean I don't think he's a bad person and so I looked into he's a liar well, how he can be a good person he's a liar a person he keep lying he cannot be a good person right uh, well I think a lot of them, a lot of them do, and that's that's another thing. The 
Yeah, so a good person, a good person, he don't, a good person, he don't make religion as a as a business of lying, because supposedly you are following God, and the one who is religious is the last one to lie, right? So when when the one who is religious is lying, so what kind of religion this religion is? Right, and and another thing, you know, because I was a Christian before I converted to Islam, and what's really alarming to me is when I look at the Quran and the things written in the Quran. And then I look at what the book of Revelation teaches about the end times, about how people who worship the image of the beast, which I now firmly believe is the Kaaba and in Mecca is the image of Allah, which you know, Muslims refer to as Yamin Allah, the right hand of Allah. I believe what the book of Revelation is talking about is it's an image in the desert that, uh, that the majority of the world would covet shortly before the return of Jesus. And it talks about how Christians will be beheaded in the last days, how there will be massive persecution. And I look, another thing, what most people don't understand about Muhammad was, after he died, his caliphs, Abu Bakr, followed by Umar, followed by Uthman, they conquered a quarter of the world's population in a span of Oh, I think it was 40 or 50 years. They conquered uh, most of North Africa, the Middle East. They used to be Christian before Islam came out of Arabia. But as soon as, as Islam came into the world and the caliphs came into the world, they immediately began attacking their neighbors to the north, south, east, and west in all directions. And, it continue, and it's still going on to this day. So when, when people get upset, when they say that ISIS is not the true Islam, I can tell you right now that as somebody who, uh, well, at least you know, until most recently was a Muslim, even for a short period of time, ISIS is practicing the, the Sunnah. They are practicing the core teachings of Islam. Uh, 50 years after Islam was born, over 90,000 churches were destroyed uh, all throughout the Middle East, uh, going towards Persia and uh, all throughout North Africa. So, uh, you know, when somebody but, says to you, ISIS is not Islam, you should say to him, name for me one thing ISIS did Muhammad did not do. <laughs> you know, just name one. He, he did all of it. Uh, the sex slaves, Muhammad had sex slaves. He sold sex slaves. His well, favorite be, sex be, slave. Be, was, beheading, cutting hands, cutting feet, crucifixion, you know, I mean, <laughs> everything they did is, is very Islamic, you know, attacking the neighbors. Muhammad, he says, attack the, the Romans so you can get the blonde girls. And you know? I, tr I truly believe that it's the shit. See, most, most Christians today think that the mark of the beast is going to be some microchip or some, you know, or some stamp on your, on your hand or your forehead, but they don't know what the Shahada is. The Shahada, when someone recites the Shahada, they are renouncing Jesus Christ. They are proclaiming allegiance to, to Shusayi. Allah, to Shusayi. Muhammad. Yeah, they're, they're pledging allegiance. They, it's a declaration. God doesn't care about a barcode on your hand. He doesn't care about a microchip. He cares about false worship to a false god. That's what makes God angry. So that is what the mark of the beast is. And, and in the end times, what the, I believe it's the Mekdi is going to be the, the Antichrist. What, what, for your listeners who don't know who the Mekdi is, the Quran teaches that shortly before the Day of Judgment, that an Islamic Jesus will return to Syria in Damascus, and that the Mahdi, who is the Islamic Messiah, will purge the world of Christianity and Judaism and to establish Allah's eternal rule on earth. And it's going to be from Jerusalem, not from Mecca. He's going to, the Muslims want to retake Jerusalem, and they want to set up an image to Allah in Jerusalem. I mean, and all of this is in the Bible and the Quran. So Christians have, it's, it's imperative that when you talk about end times, that you don't just look at your Bible, you have to look at the Quran, what Muhammad taught in the Sunnah and the Hadith about the end times, because it all bears a, uh, a direct re uh, relevance to all of this. And... Uh -huh. 
Well, and my friend, we but, are uh, happy. We are happy that you decide to leave this garbage. And if you know any of your friends, you met them during the time you, be, you became a Muslim in the mosque, and they were a Christian. They converted to Islam. Let them watch my videos, and ask them to be free to call me if they are still not convinced to leave Islam. Right, and uh, yeah, and, and you know, with the apostasy laws. Uh, yeah, well, don't worry about today, apostasy law. Don't worry different. about it. Here they don't dare to do anything. Here we go. I live in America. I love at Muhammad every day. What they can do about it? We are men. We are not cowards, right? Right. We are. And, we, are we are men. Uh, and yeah, I'm are, not worried about anything not happening to me here. Yeah. What? But uh, the, the reason I'm bringing up the apostasy laws. Yeah, I don't. I'm not worried about yeah, here. Don't don't it's worry. Just, Muslims take many Muslims take these apostasy laws very seriously. They, no, they don't. And, they don't. Man, people are leaving Islam, my friend. Joke, people are leaving Islam. No, people are leaving Islam in the Middle East, left and right. Just go and see in the Middle East what's happening. You know, all this is over. All this is over. The only place is is, is, is a crazy is like Pakistan. You know, Pakistan is yeah, those are breaker. the country. All all of it is controlled by terrorists. Uh, Bangladesh, maybe Pakistan. But if you go in the Middle East, if you go to many countries in the Middle East, you will see many even changing their names from Muhammad to uh, George or whatever, you know. So all this is really over. Even now, the, the Islamic fatwa, the Islamic fatwa of Egypt, because many they are leaving Islam, they, they don't dare anymore to say we want to kill him. There's no, that's it. The law of apostasy, of apostasy in Egypt cannot be practiced. The law of apostasy, even in Saudi Arabia, cannot be practiced. They have now music, they have theater, they have a, a party. Even now the Saudi prince established a bikini beach. So all days is over. And I assure you soon, the Saudi crown prince of Saudi Arabia will allow Christians to build the churches because they are trying to fix this country, which Muhammad damaged it. So there's a big revolution right. in the Middle East right now. And the Middle East is a change. Just last week, the, the government of Emirates they changed the holiday or the every weekend from uh, uh, from the normal Friday to be Saturday and Sunday. So from now on, Muslim in United Arab Emirates, they have their weekend as us, Saturday and Sunday, which is following the, the Bible. Right, and for, for your listeners too, another thing, but when, when people first convert to Islam, they, they really just, like, I was born in the United States, I'm an American, I was born and raised as a Christian, when you convert to Islam, they're really obsessed with micromanaging everything you do, how you dress, how you speak, uh, what you know, what you're allowed to say, what you're not allowed to say. Everything is haram. Absolutely, everything is haram. You got just people bugging you uh, night and day, and if you don't show up to mosque, if you don't show up to prayer, you have people calling you, wanting to know how come you haven't shown up. Yeah, they harass you. I mean, you know, it's harassment so, religion. It's a. They try to I mean, intimidate you too. They try to intimidate you to 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 tell you we are watching you in case you do not know. Right, no. and, and that's yeah. that's another reason why uh, when I first came across your videos, I, I started taking a closer look, and it's been an incredible couple of months. All the stuff that was not taught to me that I've since discovered. Muhammad was a sadistic human being. He. he he removed the heads of 800 Jews in a single day, in a single day, while his wife watched. They, they watched the beheadings from sunup until sundown. This was after they had conquered the city of Kaibar, I believe. Muhammad conquered Kaibar. They rushed out all the male Jews that were alive. Women and children were immediately uh, given to Muslim families, and they beheaded 800 Jews in a single day. In a, in a single day. And then after his death, Muhammad's generals, one of his generals was a man by the name of Khalid Al, I can't pronounce his last name, Khalid was the name, I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Khalid had killed Zastrian Christians, beheaded them uh, at once, and, and this is a terrible story, but your, your listeners need to hear it. Khalid was one of Muhammad's top generals, who was also... Uh, Maybe you mean Khalid, for, Khalid, you mean Khalid? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He, okay. He's also a general for Abu Bakr, who was Muhammad's first caliph. Hmm. Khalid went to the uh, to some Christians in Iraq. He conquered this, this Christian city. He then he then took the uh, I believe it was the Zastrian tribal leader. He cut off the man's head, 
he takes the man's head and, and he drains the blood into the soil of the ground below him and then rape, rape the man's wife in the bloody well, this, soil. This one, and, this one, and, this one supposedly, this one was not a Christian, I suppose he was a Muslim, and uh, he killed him, he, he cooked his head, uh, and, and he raped his wife. Correct. Yeah. 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 And, and, and so, it, Islam destroys the human spirit. These are, when you think of these acts, that Muhammad did, and then his close companions did. This is why I'm leaving Islam. I can't. I can't follow this. I cannot follow this. I, I cannot follow somebody in good faith who, not just he did these things, but his his generals and his caliphs did these things. So these were the apostles of Muhammad: Khalid, Abu Bakr, Omar. They are gang. His, the yeah. that yeah. so, so, the, so the point is, if he's, uh, he is the same as his friends, all of them, they are a bunch of filthy criminals. All of them. And and now one thing I'm with uh, many Muslims today that I'm happy about is that many of them, many of them don't embrace this interpretation uh, or they don't embrace these, these acts. But what's sad to me is they, they believe... No, my friend, you are wrong. They do yeah. they, they, they do embrace it. They do embrace it. But they are hypocrite. So when they live in the West, they are not in the place they can say the truth because that will cause them to be in trouble. So because they are... This is a religion of hypocrisy. Chapter 3, verse 28, it says, you can speak to them in a friendly way while your heart is like this. So they don't... Really, they, all of them, they embrace it. If you ask this uh, uh, Uthman ibn Farouk, if you ask him... Do you support killing the Christian and the Jews? Your prophet says, when I kill the Jews in the judgment day, he would never dare to say yes, you know? But he, if he's living in Afghanistan, he will say yes. You know what I mean? So yeah. the, those people, the band where they live, they don't really, when they, when, you, when they say to you, oh, we don't embrace ISIS, they are lying. All of them, they support ISIS. The one who yes, don't support I ISIS is, is government. Because why? Like the, the royal family of Al Saud, they knew that ISIS and Al-Qaeda is a threat. Why? Because they want to take their place. But they are not opposing them because they are bad Muslims. They are opposing them because they want to take their place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or may, yeah, maybe I'm, at the same time, maybe I'm forgetting to remind myself that Islam teaches that it's okay to deceive unbelievers if it spreads or advances Islam. In the Arabic word, exactly. word called taqiyya. Taqiyya, yeah. Uh, or hudna. Hudna is another word. Chapter 3, verse 28. Yeah, yeah, so it could be perhaps that and, and it's hard to tell. You know, maybe, they, maybe they're maybe they just uh, deceiving me because, you know, especially with new Muslims, people who just convert to Islam, you know, they don't know anything about uh, Islam. It's really easy to deceive them or to maybe paint a picture of Islam that is not the real Islam. Uh, so I pray that a lot of uh, Muslims will leave Islam. You know, Muhammad... It's my personal belief that this religion was started by Muhammad as a justification for a political for political conquest. For for so, sex, for it, sex, for money, for sex, for money, for power. This is what Muhammad is about. He's a satanic man. He he made a privilege just for his private part. He made a privilege just for his pocket. He made a privilege even for God because he made himself his God on earth. So whatever the prophets say, you obey. So he became God on earth. So this guy, this madman, he is perverted, he is sick, he is filthy, he is a criminal, and he used God in order to conquer. At the same time, he said, there's five names given to me. One of them is Al-Mahi, which means the eraser, and I will erase Christianity and Judaism. So Muhammad, he made it clear. I have a purpose. I am the evil Muhammad. I'm going to erase everything good in this earth. I will erase the Messiah, I will erase the angels, I will erase God, and I will place myself instead, and I will make this earth is a land of a bloodshed. And he said, I've been ordered, commanded to kill all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah and Muhammad, except the Muslims. So if you are a person who bow down to the devil, Muhammad will not kill you. If you don't bow down to the devil, Muhammad, he will kill you. And this is a clear sign of a filthy man. He has come back. My friend, I want to say thank you for calling us. Uh, we cannot keep you for longer. But I'm glad that you decided to leave Islam. And I hope maybe in the future you can call us to share more stories of your experience. But today, by the way, your voice was very low. Maybe next time is going to be better. Oh, yeah, sorry. I have my Bluetooth and I apologize. Thank yeah, you, it's Christian right. friends. Have it's a wonderful right. day. It's all right. Take care. Bye-bye. 
So here, actually, I, I would like to hear this gentleman again calling us because we want to learn from him and those who left Islam how the Muslims even got their head. So I hope in the future he can call me. And I'm telling him from now he can call me. Uh, so Christians can learn how the trick work, how they got into your head, how they fool you, how they lie to you. And you know, all of us, we do make mistakes. But remember, mistakes about God is a pricey mistakes.